Sam and I are finally starting on the kitchen. It's been like a couple of weeks in the works now. It's what, mid, it's the beginning of March. And we bought everything, I think mid February, but life happens, we, we couldn't do it in February. Today we're gonna be ripping off the backboard. It's a backboard, isn't it? So yeah, sideboards, backboards. So the backboards, the backsplash, and we will be re-coating, not re-coating. We ended up going with this like darker wood for the sideboards. It's not gonna go on the backboards because we're gonna tile it. I'll just show them again for ease of explaining, for ease of explaining. Uh, so these are the, what else over the face? These are the tiles that we're gonna be using. They're gonna be herringbone all the way along the back. So they go all the way around there and then a bit around the sink area as well. So they will be from the base rather than having this backboard here because it's pretty ugly. I don't like it. And then all the handles will be changed to these little black numbers, They're just a bit cleaner and a bit more, a bit more us, a bit more interesting. And then yeah, we went for a little darker one, which when rolled out does look really nice. Uh, but it is a slightly different shade to the floor, which we kind of wanted because we thought if we went with exactly the same colour, it might look a little bit too samey, samey, matchy, matchy, and not as nice. So I have only got two rolls of this. It might not be enough, but we couldn't just buy one to see what it was like in person. We had to buy it in pairs. So we kind of risked it and bought two. And then if I need to buy more, then we can. So it looks something like this. And then the tile will be up the back all the way along. Nice and neat and tidy. And then we've also got the sink being changed. So once all the backboards are off, we can take the sink out, replace the sink, replace the tap. Yeah, I tried to make a kind of order of how we're gonna do it. So it makes more sense for us to rip off the backsplash, the backboards, take the sink out, then do the vinyl because then at least I can get around the sink a bit more easily and it should look a bit more flush and clean. Whereas the hob, we're not taking it out. I'm just gonna have to try and work out how to get around it with this there are so many tutorials on youtube and tutorials on instagram whatever so i'll be able to figure it out but it's i just feel like that's going to be a bit of a pain getting it around the hob but it'll be less of a pain getting it around the sink if the sink isn't there that's theory anyway so ripping all of that off now we've started removing stuff in the kitchen there's no, no microwave no toaster or anything like everything's cleared out and um, i've just done the washing up so once that's dry we can clear that side as well and then we can start ripping stuff out. Oh, I'm just happy to get rid of that sink, to be honest. It's gross. And it's so hard to clean stainless steel. So I'm glad that that's going. And the same with the backsplash. Stainless steel is just not easy to clean at all. I'm going to start in that corner with the vinyl so that the sink can have a bit more of a chance to go in. If I start that way, it's going to be hours, I feel like, before I get around to that side. So starting that way around. Coming around here, I've got to go around this bit and then underneath as well to make it look clean. So I'm going to have to go into the cupboards. But it's all going to be trial and error. I've never done it before, so hopefully it will go okay. The tiling is going to take ages. And as I'm doing it myself, again, <laughs> we have bought a tile cutter. So it should be fine. Hey, are you going to help? Probably not. <laughs> Nice. Oh, sorry, oh. oh my god, it's already so much better. How much brighter that is without that being there. I yeah. love it. I love it already. It's gonna look so good. Made a bit of progress. It's like just under two inches before I put the carpet out of the wood. Yeah. Yeah? Um, how are you doing that, by the way? Uh, I've not decided. Because it's on, it's kind of glued onto the... I don't know. Mm. But yeah, it does fit in, other than that. We did know it was going to be a little bit bigger, but it fits this way perfectly. It's just this side we need to cut out a little mm. bit longer. And the overhang is quite a lot, because it's like a really thick ceramic. So it's going to take a little bit of fiddly work, but it's going to look really nice. Hi. Yeah, yeah. Um, is it dinner time? Yeah, it's been a few hours since we came on here. What did we show last? The fact that we're cutting this. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 
So we took, well, we had to do a run to, where did we go? We, we went somewhere like Screwfix to get spanners to take the sink out. Um, tool station. Tool station. Let's get a, what was it, a box wrench? A box wrench. Let's get like an upright fucking bolt off. So we did, we did that. Um, came back, took the sink out, but the sink is a little bit too big for the space that we've got. So we do need to cut this out. Sam is currently fixing, what's this called? Jigsaw. Fixing the jigsaw together so that he can cut off that extra bit of wood. It's not a lot, a couple of inches. Um, and then I think we're gonna have to carry on with it tomorrow because I need to do the wrap before we put the sink back in. I just think it will look neater and at least you won't have to be, I won't have to be cutting around anything. Um, yeah, I, I just think it'll be a bit easier in the long run. It'll be the wrap and the sink tomorrow. And then I can, I guess, get started on the tiling, but I don't really think I'll be able to do that tomorrow as well. Not quite done as much as I wanted to today, but we're not really in a rush. It's just annoying having your kitchen out of use for a little while. Sink still doesn't quite fit. Need to take out some more bits of wood, which is fine. It won't take too long. So this is a whole kit that we bought, I think, on Amazon to do this vinyl stuff. Oh, it, does it come with a blade? I think that's a blade. It comes with a blade. And it comes with like a felt-ended squeegee to push all the air bubbles out. I've watched a few tutorials this morning, so hopefully we'll be okay. If not, um, it does just peel back because it's plastic and it's re resealable. You just need to put some, oh, we need the hairdryer um, because it, on the edges and the corners and stuff if you put the um if you put the heat on to the plastic directly it makes it a bit more malleable and you're able to push it around corners more smoothly um i don't know if i have enough reels of this i've only got two so we're just gonna see how it goes I'm starting with the sink side so that sam can then put the sink back in tonight because we we don't have anything to do washing up or anything so So we're just cutting out where the sink is with the blade that came with the pack um, and I'm using the squeegee as I'm going along. It seems to be going okay. I'm leaving the end over because there's not enough to go underneath so I might do another strip of it underneath. Um, potentially, I'm not too sure. This is stressful. I think it will look really nice though. Mm. This bit did, we got this caught to each other so there's a little bit bumpy over here. Um, and obviously we've got cat hair in it, so I got changed into something that wasn't covered in cat hair. I think it's going to coat the kitchen completely, so we're going to have to order some more. But as long as this bit's done, we can get the sink in. That's one thing. Okay. What do you? Done the first top layer, and Charlotte's just been dealing with the tedium of the bits underneath, which aren't quite finished yet, but we're getting there. Stress. He does it in like little sections, doesn't yeah. he? Little bit by bit. Be careful, I'll put some slippers on if you come back in because yeah. it's gonna be razor sharp. So I got ahead of myself and I changed some of the handles. I've not done the rest of the room, obviously, but I've just done the one the side that we've done because I wanted to get the idea. But the sink's in. Sam's just put all the taps, all the hot, cold water taps through. He's joined everything back up again and hopefully it'll turn on. We're gonna test it in a second. Didn't really know what side to put this. I think it's supposed to go this side, but because we're gonna have a drying rack, 
it opens up quite big and I think the tap will then get in the way of the drying rack so we won't be able to turn the sink on and off. So we've put it there, if it does get in the way and also we can see the hot and the cold and if it's round here we can't see what's hot and cold. It's really really faint. You can just about see the hot and the cold there. So we've, we've gone with that. I know it's not right, but it'll yeah, work it will work for us. Go. It will work for us. But so far, Ooh. this is what it's looking like. Okay, do you wanna? Right now, we find out if I wanna flood the kitchen or not. I don't think you'll flood the kitchen. I just don't think it will turn on. Oh, it'll turn on? You think? <laughs> oh God, that's a lot of pressure. Get a bit weaker than that, just in case. It's like a bubble. Is it a bubble? Is that normal? Yeah. Really? Uh, there might be a bubble in it to be fair, so that might. It probably has to run through for a little while, won't it? And I did the hot and the cold right way around. And that's hot. Yep. Yeah. Your back is about to start. That's fine. It's fine. Do it. It's fine. Oh yeah. It's cold. Scary. Get it though. Look at you. Look at us. Look at us. Look at us. I've ordered two more rolls of the vinyl because I haven't got enough. I just need one more to cover that side. And that will be arriving on Saturday. It's currently Wednesday. Yeah. Which is annoying. I'm gonna have to wait to finish that, but at least we know what we need and how much we need and we're not gonna end up with loads over the top. It looks so good. It is two days later. Um, we had to have a break. We had to have a work break, basically. And now I'm gonna do the second reel of vinyl on this hob section. You can't see here, but this is the wood that we've done. So this is done, it's had 24 hours. It needs to have 24 hours to set. I think it gives the glue time to like react and um, see it like seal itself. I did also do the finishings with a hairdryer. So I pushed all of the edges down and then used a hairdryer to pull the vinyl into place. It was slightly longer. So this area from here to here is longer than here to here. So the vinyl didn't actually reach all the way underneath, whereas it will here. Yeah, you can see that that will go right, on, right the way under and it will on the back one as well. So I had to cut the excess that we'd taken out of the sink and do a strip all the way along the underneath. And that was incredibly fiddly and it took ages and it was getting quite frustrating, which is why I didn't film it, but that's what I did. And I think it's okay. There's yeah. a little, there's kind of like a ridge that I couldn't quite get right. Right, it's, it, it, yeah, it's secure and it should be okay. You wouldn't know if you didn't know. Yeah, I mean, not everyone's gonna come in here and be like, oh, that's the other side, right? But yeah, it, it, yeah, and it looks really nice. This side's been cleaned, again, because obviously we've kind of had to live in the kitchen the past couple of days. This one's gonna be tricky because of the hob and it's now gonna be a join. So where the wood is meeting the black, I feel like that's gonna be an issue. This is what I was trying to explain to you. So it's gonna go up to the back of the wall, but then this bit has to be completely straight. I'll have to cut it, I'll have to roll it all out and then on the back of, on the paper, mark it yeah, and then the cut line. it out. So it's exact, yeah. and then the excess can come out. Yeah, make yeah. sense? On the back of the DC Fix vinyls, there is a grid. So this is the excess that I had to cut out for the sink, and I just re-stuck it on there so that it's not, so that I can use it again, basically. So it comes with all of this grid marking on the back. We haven't had to use it yet, but for this join, I think it's gonna make sense to measure it, cut the line down with a standing knife to get the measurement exact and then lay it down. In theory, as easy as that. And that is only gonna go up to here. And then tomorrow, we've got two more vitals coming? No, they're coming later on. Are they? Yeah, I think they're coming next week. Are they? I don't know. That might be a work. Mm. It's Saturday now. <laughs> yes, I didn't quite go to plan. Yeah, it's a whole other day. 
I ended up having to take an important phone call. Not going to go into it, but it was really exciting. And then we ended up not doing it. So now we're going to do it today. I've got the roll here. We will get going with that later on. But I think I'm potentially going to spend a bit more of today sorting out the office. Yeah, exciting times. Two new, two brand new rooms in the house. Uh, we're, we're getting a bit apprehensive about doing the tiling because it is such a big job. We've got to go all the way around here, all the way along here and then up the side. And because it's such a big job, we're contemplating hiring a tiler now. I don't know if it'll happen. I think we need to discuss it over this weekend, but at the moment we're a bit unsure. So we'll see how it goes with this. The rest of the vinyl is not supposed to come until next week now it was postponed. Which is annoying, it means we can't actually... We can't even start with attempting the tiling because we need their vinyl to come so I can finish off the surfaces. We're just gonna have to see how it goes. Got a sanding knife, cutting board, and a metal ruler to do this with. Hopefully it will work. If it doesn't work, you can just rip it off and start again. So I guess that's the nice thing about vinyl. If you do go wrong, it's not really the end of the world. You can try again. The other fun part is that the hob is on this side. So I'm gonna to have to do the same with the sink, as in cut, well, lay it across the entire thing, then cut a big hole out of the center, and then go in really tightly around the edges. We've got a lot of different little bits of equipment that should make that a little bit easier. So it came with this, and obviously we've got the squidgy as well to get the air bubbles out of the rest of the vinyl. It's got points, so I can push the vinyl right into the line of the hob. There is a tiny little gap that obviously we can't cover, and it's got three different like widths. So this thing hopefully should work for the hob. thing ever that was ridiculously stressful for some reason couldn't get it taut enough over the hob and it started to stretch itself in the wrong direction and because we pulled it back and pulled it forward so many times the edges of the hob are starting to get this one actually the other two are fine but this one has ripped a little bit into the into the vinyl and to be honest I can't be bothered to do it again I'm pissed off <laughs> frankly it was not the easiest thing to do um it should be fine it should be fine once I've cut it it should go underneath the hob anyway so as you can see the whole way along was like a couple of millimeters and then as we put it on the back it started to get less and less and less and I was like well this is great so that bit ended up ripping and I got to a point where I was like, well, I'll cut it and see what happens. Worst comes worst, we'll just have to rip it all off to start again. Because it's, it's this whole strip along here. So what I did, I cut it and then realised that we were pulling it in the wrong direction. A bit too much and I ended up with so much going up this side. So that's, that's where we were going wrong. The overlap is um, maybe a, just under a centimetre. So there's probably enough there anyway for a good seal. So I'm going with that. And then I'll cut all the way along to make it under the hob. And yeah, I just, I just can't bother to do it again, frankly. That was horrible. That was the worst bit so far, by far. Um, so I just need to do the wrap underneath here. So I'll use a, not hot glue, i use a hairdryer just to make it a bit more malleable. And it should just twist under and stick. After 24 hours, it will be good to use. So we can use this side now because that's had the 24 hours, it's had longer than 24 hours. And this side we won't be able to use until tomorrow. 
This is good to get underneath here, but generally to get all the air bubbles out, you wanna use that and scrape outwards, preferably towards the way that you're going, so I'm getting them out that way. Air bubbles wise, I think we're fine. I have got a weird, I don't know if we can see, yeah, just about here. I've already cut some dinks out of it from where we were folding it and refolding it in. I am a perfectionist, but there are no air bubbles and air bubbles would be more of a problem for me. So that I think I can live with. from Amazon. It's a, this is a 32 and that's a 16. I just searched black kitchen long handles and they came up and yeah they're pretty much exactly what we wanted and they're only about two three pound each so it wasn't very expensive either. Done and that is day two of the kitchen. <laughs> Final is done. Not entirely happy but it is good enough I think. I hope it's good enough. I think the beauty of using the vinyl is that if it does end up with water in it or bubbles or anything we can just rip it off and start again. It's not that expensive. Was it like £16 a reel? Yeah. Um, £16 a reel. Rather than spending hundreds on a homely worktop it is a lot cheaper and much easier to change. I don't know what to... Okay, we've got two more reels of the DC Fix. Um, I think it's like San Remo Ike, I think that's the name of the effect, of the wood effect. But we had two more come today, so we can now finish off this side and then we've got a spare just in case it completely goes wrong. Um, hopefully it won't. Just washed it down and then used sugar soap for this stuff. It's supposed to clean surfaces prior to painting, removes grease, dirt and nicotine. Nice. So specific. Um, that's really random. Yeah, so I've just given it a minute to dry and I need to cut this to size like I did with this one because the length is not out like here. I've got to cut this bit to length because it's going to come too far out. Um, doing it the same as I did the other day with Stanley knife and the chop chopping board. The Stanley knife and the what's it called? Cutting board. Cutting board, yeah. Cutting board, metal ruler. And this bit is gonna be a bit of a problem because it sticks out. I don't know quite how to do that. That's gonna be tricky, but the rest of it is just gonna be plain sailing because we don't have a sink or a hob to deal with this time. So I don't think I quite explained the other day, but it is just a plastic vinyl with sticky back. You peel it away and then that back is sticky. And then that is what glues it to the surface. I think I've said it in another vlog. It's um it's all measured on the inside as well in five. It's one centimetre squares, so it makes it a little bit easier to measure it out. side. So it's a good thing we ended up buying two. Uh, the first one I completely messed up. This join it kept like as we were putting the plastic it kept ripping further and further away and in the end we just couldn't do anything with it. We had to rip it all off and start again so we had like an hour's break to cool down. I was not happy. Um, tried it again and I didn't cut so much away. I left loads of extra room and did it really slowly with the Stanley knife, cut away bit by bit. And it's it's done okay this time. I've done it. I've done it. This bit was a bit of a problem because it's a little bit wonky and I couldn't get that bit in very nicely. And we're obviously not tiling this because this is just straight up covered. But I had to hinge off the door so that I could get the vine wrap underneath. It just looks a bit smoother. So now I'm going to go over it with the 
thing that I'm, I'm got it stuck in there to try and hold it in place. The squidgy, I'm gonna go over it with the squidgy, cut off any excess that I've got around the edges. And then we're done with the vinyl wrap. Never again. I did a little bit of a wrap here and then the underneath does actually look a lot better than that. And then this corner as well was the, the problem child. That's why we had to do the whole thing again. Um, I did an overlap of about an inch this time. So you can, I think you can just about see it there where it curves around. Um, but this is much, much neater. I'll try to get as much wood underneath as possible. It doesn't obviously need to be that neat because I'm just going to see it, but I did want it to be nice. But that is it. Final is done. Hopefully we won't ever have to do that again because that was awful.